Greetings dear friends, I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mazda 6GH. Officially only front-wheel drive cars were on sale in Russia, and the mechanical part of the transmission is almost perfect. As that it is worth more often than usual to control the integrity of the CV joint covers, they are very fragile. Both manual transmissions, 5-speed and 6-speed, usually do not cause serious trouble to owners. You just need to monitor the oil level, especially in 6-speed ones, and change the clutch in time. And just about every source of the clutch disc there are complaints. Many owners note that the original kit somehow wears out suspiciously quickly, even with very careful handling. Sometimes by 30-40 thousand the disc is worn out to rivets. However, the typical resource is 2.5 times more, but even this seems to not to be enough for the owners. And accustomed to very inexpensive operation, they look and find ways to save money. For example, the clutch disc fits perfectly with the older Mazda 626 2.0 liter. It is only necessary to shorten the center bushing slightly. This is despite the fact that the original four 2.0 engines cost 5000 rubles. CV joints from Niva also fit. In general, there are chances to find an ex unexpected collective farm. When buying a car with a mileage of more than 200,000 with manual transmission, check the operation of the gearbox without double squeezing and overrunning. Synchronizers of the second third gears for such a run are often worn out, and when shifting quickly, the box rests and crutches. The switching mechanism with such runs also loses its former clarity. The cables tend to sour in those who leave the car motionless for a long time, and the wings for such a run simply wear out. By the way, the price of the note is high, under 40,000 rubles. Officially, it is not collapsible, so there is no way to do without a collective farm. With automatic transmissions, everything is also not bad at all. The vast majority of cars have a very successful box of our own design Mazda Ford FN R5 FS 5A EL. The same one that was on the last generation of the car and has already proven itself well. But for the extremely rare versions with the 3.7 liter V8 V6, we have installed the automatic transmission ISIN TF80SC, which is well known for fans of Volvo or Opel cars. Both boxes have a solid resource and if the heat exchangers are in good working order and timely maintenance, they allow you not to worry about anything with runs of 200,000 km. Let a small puncture come out with the heat exchanger. It leaks on the Mazda 6 and the antifreeze gets into the wall. The consequences are usually the most difficult. The box has to be sorted out completely with the replacement of all clutches and the repair of the gas turbine engine, and often with the overturning of and replacement of the oil pump and solenoids. Therefore, when buying a car with automatic transmission, a test for the content of antifreeze in the transmission fluid is mandatory, and of course it is recommended to install an external radiator for the transmission. If an original radiator is installed, then pay attention to traces of fluid drips at the fitting from the automatic transmission heat exchanger, which is located in the lower tank. If there are sticks, then you need to change it urgently. The box on the emulsion cannot work for a long time, but there have been cases of a happy cure without a bulkhead. It's funny, but exactly the same problem haunted the icing automatic transmission in almost all European cars of the early 2000s. But by 2005-2006, they had basically been solved. The if FNR5 box is considered one of the most successful. Its resource for accurate driver is limited by the moment of wear of the blocking lining of the gas turbine engine. It is about 200 to 150,000 km. But if you replace the linings in time, then it can go even more. If the owner preferred an aggressive driving style, then one can expect burn clutches of the overdrive reverse package due to the wear of the rear car caliper. At the initial stage, the problem manifests itself as vibration and a drop in operating pressure in the corresponding clutches, and then you can expect a complete failure of the unit with contamination of the box with the rare products. Also, for those who like to drive, the differential may not be able to withstand. Usually, the axis of the satellite scraps and it comes out, breaking in the case of box. When buying, pay close attention to the purity of the oil and the noise during the operation of the differential. Typical concomitants of overheating and oil contamination are shocks due to poor solenoid performance. If the oil changes irregularly, then wear after 150-180 thousand mileage will require a well-body bulkhead. First of all, the solenoids of the linear pressure and blocking of the gas turbine engine suffer. The poor operation of the former is well felt by the jolts when drive reverse is turned on. And the poor operation of the blocking solenoids is by jerking during intensive acceleration at a speed of 70-120 km per hour. With 2 liter engines, the box works much better than with 2.5 liter ones, on which they began to put it after restyling. 
With a more powerful engine, its problems appear more prominently, more often repair of the mechanical part and lining of the gas turbine engine is required. The icing box is a rarity, so there is no data on its operation on the Mazda, but taking into account the vast experience accumulated by the operation of these automatic transmissions on Volvo, Saab and Opel cars, we can say that with the reliable mechanical part, the gearbox has a valve body that is very sensitive to dirt and overheating. When operating under heavy load, it necessarily requires the installation of an external radiator. Otherwise, it is a very good automatic transmission in every sense, except that it is significantly more expensive to repair than the design from Mazda Ford. Like its predecessor, the main engines here are Mazda Swan owns engines of the MZRL family, but with some modifications from Ford. Engines with a volume of 1.8 and 2 liters are practically twin brothers, and the 2.5 liter is slightly different in both the timing design and the attachments and inlet. But by and large, they have all problems in common. I note right away that these are one of the most reliable motors in their class, successfully arranged, resourceful and inexpensive to repair. Of course, they also have their own characteristics. For example, the keyless feet of the crankshaft and camshaft sprockets requires a high degree of care in timing work with the obligatory use of templates and torque ranges. The abundance of plastic in the intake design significantly increases the chances of air leaks and loss of tightness with age. Sometimes you have to adjust the valves and check the clearances at least once every 50,000 km. Not the most successful design of the cooling system will require you to regularly change the condition of the thermostat, better even to change it preemptively. You will have to change the body of the LF 941517Z pipe at least once every 4 to 5 years, and in general you need to monitor the radiators. They are not of the best quality. In addition to the loss of tightness of the automatic transmission heat exchanger, they are also prone to leaks and loss of honeycomb in the lower part. All leakage into the spark plug wells leads to failure of the plug tips and breakdowns of the ignition system. Despite the cast iron liners and valve seats, the engine doesn't really like a variety of LPG and bad air filters. Its materials are rather soft and the owners note that in these cases a characteristic annual development appears in the TDC zone and the valves burn out with runs of less than 1,500,000 km. This engine doesn't lack low viscosity oils. Although SAE20 and SAE30 are recommended for it from the factory, it is better not to fill in oil with the viscosity below SAE40 on engines with mileage it can lift up the liners. The oil pump quickly loses pressure, it dissolves in the worn out phase shifters and crankshaft liners. And for those who start their motors in severe frost from the pusher, the oil pump drive chain may break, but here is a very rare malfunction. But the leaks of the water oil heat exchanger, which is located above the filter, is a common thing. Without it, the oil temperature slowly rises after the start, but under load it rises much about 120 degrees, so you shouldn't remove it. And when buying, you must definitely check its availability. At the same time, add another touch to the picture of the previous owner's car service. Leaks for aging motors of this series are very characteristic. This can be both a consequence of a clogged ventilation system. It is too simple here and wear of the piston group. The engine control system works stably, ignition modules are inexpensive and in general, everything is done for people. By the way, repairs with the purchase of a short block in practice are not such a bad thing. It guarantees good quality and costs less than the original oversized piston and liner kit and you get a new block for virtually no cost. As a last resort, the blocks are perfectly sleeve and there are also repair sizes from unofficial suppliers. V6 engines are a huge rarity here and are mainly featured on the large CX-9 crossovers, but they have proven themselves well. It is better not to buy diesel cars. From the very birth, 2.0 liter engines have problems with carbon formation, damage to the particulate filter and fuel leaks into the oil. Until 2010, the engines also had problems with oil pressure. The 2.2 liter engine turned out to be more successful, but its fuel equipment is also capricious, and fuel in oil is also not uncommon for it. As a result, the resource of these motors is less than the of gasoline ones, and the repair costs are higher. And one more thing, without an official service, you can expect numerous difficulties with service. On this information on the problems of the Mazda 6 GH is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.